Welcome to the channel. Today we'll be walking through how to build an LG remote control within Home Assistant. This will give you all the usual controls of your remote control directly on a dashboard within Home Assistant. Now there are already apps that you can buy on various stores that perform this function already that might be a better choice for you. But if you want to be able to do this through Home Assistant, then here's how to do it. And it's free. So let's get our hands dirty. So you'll need to have the Home Assistant Community Store, or Hacks as it's known, installed to be able to install the LG Remote Control. Follow the video tutorial in the link above to be able to install Hacks onto your machine. So at the time of recording, I'm running on Home Assistant 2023.9.2. Now let's head across into Hacks. Go to the front end, press the Explore and Download Repositories in the bottom right. Search for LG, select the LG Web OS Remote Control. Now press the download button, followed by confirming with the download again. Now reload. Now let's go and set up a dashboard so that we can load our LG Remote Control. Go to settings, go into dashboards, create a new dashboard, give it a suitable title, press create. Open the dashboard, press the three dots in the top right hand corner, edit your dashboard. Start with an empty dashboard, take control. Now for this remote control to work, we will need to add some resources to it. If you go to the link in the description, you'll find the GitHub repository. This section here for the URL, copy this, switch back, go to the three dots in the top right hand corner, manage resources. We're going to add some resources. Copy in the URL. Make sure it says JavaScript module has been selected and press create. This will add it into the dashboard itself. At this point, I'd just like to say a great shout out to Mad Mikio for creating the LG WebOS remote control for Home Assistant. Now on the dashboard, press the back arrow. We're going to add in our card. Bottom right hand corner, add card. Search for manual, select. Now in the section where it says type, you can see there's no preview available for it. We're gonna copy some code that's in the description below. Now there are two things we need to change here. One is the entity type. If you press back and delete back to the place where it says media player, then put a full stop in. It will display all of your media players. Select your LG TV. Now we need to change the MAC address. Insert your MAC address here. If you don't know what your MAC address is for your television, if you follow the link in the pop-up above, or alternatively, there will be a link in the description below. There's another video that we put out in relation to sending notifications to televisions. In that video, we show you where to go inside of your LG TV to be able to identify what your host IP address is and also what your MAC address is of your television. You'll need to make a note of those ones because you'll use those later on. Once you've found what your MAC address is, type it in here and press save, and then press done. Now we need to make one final update to the configuration.yaml file using Studio Code Server. If you don't have Studio Code Server loaded, then if you go to the link in the pop-up above, also in the description below, there's a tutorial on how to install it. Move across into Studio Code Server. Edit your configuration.yaml file we're going to be adding the following into our configuration.yaml file. It doesn't matter where you put it, so put it at the bottom of the actual file. I'm going to be assuming that you haven't installed Wake on LAN, which is required for the LG remote to be able to turn on and off the TV. So I've included that at the top. Underneath it, the section that you'll need to change will be the host address, which will be the IP address of the TV that you copied down from before, and the MAC address, which again, you would have copied down when you followed through the other video. I've included some sources, but you can change these to whatever is relevant to yourself. Once you've entered this, you can exit out of the configuration.yaml. Now we need to restart Home Assistant to be able to make sure that the changes are applied. Move across into Developer Tools. Press Check Configuration. If it comes back with Configuration will not prevent Home Assistant from starting, you can now restart. Now, before we go and test the LG remote that we created on our dashboard, 
let's apply some basic customizations to our remote for colors and to make sure that it fits on our mobile device. These customizations are available in the README in the installation guide from the link in the description below. For instance, adding the following text to our card will turn the remote yellow with colors of blue for the text. To do this, let's move across back into our remote. Three dots in the top right hand corner, edit the dashboard. Scroll down, edit. Underneath the MAC address, press enter. Type colors, colon, enter. Put a tab in for two spaces. We'll put our text as blue. Press enter. Turn our background a different color. Background, colon, space. I'm gonna give it a hash color, but you can type in whatever color you like using hex, hash, or even predefined colors. And our remote turns yellow. We can now save this. Now, when I view this on my mobile phone, it doesn't actually quite fit. So I'm gonna scale it slightly. So to do that, go to the line below that you just entered for background. Type in dimensions, colon, enter. Tab across once to create two spaces. Type in scale, colon, enter. Now you'll have to play around with this to make sure that it fits your device. But in my case, 0.9 scales it to the right factor and press save and press done. We're now ready to go and test this out. So let's press the standby button to turn the TV on. Now, if we press the home button, bring up the menu, we can navigate left and right. Let's go and pr select prime video. Prime video starts. Now let's turn the TV off. It's now fully functional and we're done. So what about if you don't have a smart TV, but still want to control your LG TV? Well, in that case, I suggest watching the video in the pop-up above. This is how to control any IR or RF device using Home Assistant in conjunction with a Broadlink RM Pro or B. I put some links in the description below to various different Broadlink devices that will help you to, to achieve this. So there you have it, an LG remote control that can be viewed through Home Assistant to emulate the physical LG remote control that you can personalize to meet your specific needs for functionality and appearance. I hope you enjoyed the video and consider subscribing so that you can join us on our smart home journey. See you on the next one.